Hey everyone, this is a brief video lecture focused on the topic of archaeology, or more specifically the question, what is archaeology? If you read most textbooks, you'll find that archaeology is the study of past human cultures through the recovery and analysis of human remains. Those remains might include artifacts, subsistence remains, structures, even human skeletons. But as a person that's been a professional archaeologist for 25 years, archaeology means more than that. When I think of the question, what is archaeology, I think of a toolbox. To me, archaeology is a set of tools that allows us to create stories, uh, long forgotten stories about, about other human beings, their field methods, theories, analytical tools, laboratory analysis, that allows us to one, formulate research questions about past cultures, think about what data we need to answer those questions, then we collect the data, and then as we would a puzzle, we put the pieces together to tell, to tell a forgotten story about the way people lived in the past. A more important question might be, why is archeology span important? Archaeology is important, one, because it is currently the only science that studies human culture prior to the written record. Two, archaeology can be used to rectify biased history. For example, let's think for a moment about the history of African slaves in the United States. This is a history that's been skewed by racism, ethnocentrism, and, and bigotry. Archaeologists are currently working in the American South to gain a better understanding of the lived experiences of slaves and of, the, the, of slavery in general. And what we're learning through uh, the broken pieces, the material remains that these people left behind, is, is a compelling story. It's a, it's a more nuanced picture of, of slavery. We're learning that in some slave communities there was um, internal social structure or social hierarchy amongst the slaves, that sometimes slaves would sneak out at night and engage in hunting and gathering to supplement their, their diets. And in some instances, even though it was illegal, slaves were um, gaining access to, to firearms. Three, archeology span is important because it's a lot of fun. And it's fun because it allows its practitioners, the archaeologists, to, to travel the world and to study various cultures and to write a chapter about collective human history. For example, I have friends and colleagues that are working in Mongolia to better understand the development of, of herding cultures and animal husbandry, what we call pastoralism. I know archaeologists that are working in Peru to study the cultural importance of making beer, of brewing. Uh, I know people that study uh, underwater archaeology and spend their lives scuba diving in the Caribbean. However, we need to be important or need to be careful about where we learn about archaeology. Archaeology is commonly misrepresented in the popular media. If you watch the History Channel or Discovery Channel, you'll know this. Usually there's an archeologist, usually a man, usually with great facial hair and a phenomenal British accent, and they're pulling fancy artifacts out of the ground. Uh, beautiful polychromatic pottery, golden artifacts, and they always know what they are, when they date to, and they can tell you a story about them right away. That's not necessarily the way real archaeology works. Most of us spend our lives finding trash, uh, broken, discarded things that people leave behind, and sitting in a laboratory, putting those pieces of the puzzle together, running radiocarbon dates, and thinking about our theoretical paradigms so we can um, tell a story. Most archaeologists don't look for Atlantis. We don't use aliens as a hypothesis for the construction of it, it, monumental architecture like the pyramids. We focus on the scientific method and we use empirical data uh, to, to, yeah, to, uh, 
to inform ourselves and others about, about what it means to be human and how different cultures all around the world in different you know, time and space lived. Anyway, hopefully this helps. Chat with you soon.